I'm always asked, Jake, what are some of the coolest things you have found this year? And I found some cool things like GoPros, iPhones, and wallets. But to be honest with you guys, some of the adventures I went on are more valuable than the things I have found. And today, as we take a look back at 2017, these are my favorite moments. He's got a popular YouTube channel where he goes diving in the rivers and he finds GoPros and he finds like cell phones and stuff. Really cool channel. Well, he tweeted out something that's absolutely nuts. Jake tweeted out, found human remains in the river today, called the police, and they're on their way. So uh, we're actually going to call the police here in a second, but we found remains of a person. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm scared to see it. What the heck? The f Is this real? Oh, my God. Oh my God, no. So I reached out to him and asked him what was this human remains and apparently he found a box in the river and inside was a plastic bag of ashes. Welcome back. We find out some millennials now breaking away from the norm of an eight to five job and are making a living by creating videos on YouTube. Kohler first started making gaming videos and putting them on YouTube, but decided that wasn't for him and wanted to do outdoor videos. And out on the Chattahoochee River up, in Columbus, Georgia today. is where Kohler met his fellow YouTuber, oh, yeah, Brandon Jordan. And they have some advice for those so looking to get into it. You know, I think one of the things that so many people around us is they feel pressured to have to try to become someone or have to be successful in some field or have to do this and I think we just strive to be living proof to those people that you can literally do what you love and go as hard as you can every single day and you can make a living doing something that nobody ever thought you could do. She's like a professional and treasure hunter. That's pretty tight. That's so cool. What the heck? I want to do this. I didn't realize people like free dough for treasure. It's so relevant you can go into any body of water and find so many things at the bottom and it, he just like does it for fun and he's probably making a living off of it now i think it's cool everyone's interested in that treasure hunting and that type of thing because everyone wants to secretly do it another phone are you serious and that one has like a waterproof case on it honestly if there's anything that i find and i can give back to the person who owns it how I nice always, i will always be sure to do that did you lose a phone that's at nice the river? did you lose a phone at the river a little bit ago that's so nice of him uh, we did yes would you like it back <laughs> oh, oh that's gosh, so like awesome it. that's sick would you like it back <laughs> oh my gosh you're amazing <laughs> we thought that was gone for good i really like the, the fact that he's actually giving back to the community because you always get pissed off when you lose something when you go on like a boating trip or something he's a river hero <laughs> Now, I'm not too sure what model this is right here, but I know they're waterproof. But there is water in the camera lens right here, so I'm not too sure if it's going to turn on. But the guy also has his wallet in here, like his credit card ID and uh, his debit card, I believe. So I'm actually going to be able to figure out who this belongs to. Let's go ahead and take his ID out so I can get a name. Hello, is Alex there? No, uh, this is his mom, Judy. How hey, are you? Hey, Judy. I'm doing good. I'm Jake. Uh, I found his wallet and his phone. And I was hoping I can give it back to him today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, I don't know if his phone works. Hopefully everything's oh still gosh, in there. Still looks good. But it's been a couple weeks. Probably yeah. doesn't work. It probably doesn't, but at least he has all his cards. I'll give you something for this. What? What? Oh, no, 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 no. You, you keep the money. I, oh, what? I'm good. I'm Thank you so much, you. though. One of the things that I really like about what it is that you do is I love the fact that you're honest. You do find really cool stuff in our place. But you really do make an honest attempt to give people their GoPro back, or their wallet, or their phone. And that's really nice in this day and age, because most people be more apt to, you know, just to take it. And I think that's one of the things that makes you, you. Thanks, man. You know? I appreciate that. It so is, much. and I mean that. I mean, that's from the heart, okay? What do you got? What did you find now? Did you find like an Xbox this time? A gun? Oh, that's a pistol. You shouldn't have touched it. You don't want to get your prints on that. Yeah. I'm actually going to have to turn us into the police station because what if this gun was like a smoking gun to a murder case or something? And then like they figured out who murdered someone just because you know, I found the gun in the river. Like, how cool would that be? That would be a story of a lifetime, man. Well, today, he jumped in the river and found a gun, a possible murder weapon. And the greatest thing about this video is towards the end, he actually gives it to the police. All right, so we have a police officer on our way over here. Did you, all right. Here you go, buddy. 
You think it'd be any use for you guys? Because we're going to run the serial number. Yeah. We'll run the serial number, find out if the gun's been stolen or something, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help, guys. No thanks problem. for coming down. Be careful out here. I will. So I'd rather keep the gun, but it is what it is. You know, I decided I think it'd be best to give the gun to the cops. Maybe they can use it, but pretty cool, man. Found a gun. I literally feel like I'm always on a video game when I like come hang it's out with you. On the bright side, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bright side, yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, one leg out that brand new Benz way. Hometown asking me my wrist, yeah. Repetition from my chest, that's a bench press. Studio, we chillin', are we making hits? Yes, waiting for the next tour. You wish I was pissed for. Saw they getting mad, but what they really getting pissed for? Seeing more behind the frame, future brother feel the shade. Thinking ain't nobody feel the way I do, but someone gotta feel the same. Yeah, on the bright side. Yeah, this music kid yeah, became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind Yeah, welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah On the bright side Yeah, this music kid yeah, became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind no. Our friend is literally about to have a million subscribers I can't even think about how big of a number that is like I don't even know how big to think a million is I just know it's ridiculous man oh my god 21, 21. oh it's going 21, quick bro 21, 21, 21. it's going quick oh snap here we go oh dude the stretch oh, three more oh my two more gosh. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! that's awesome dude oh, yeah, bro yeah. you did it okay. man Woo! Wow! That's a what I'm talking about, dude. Subs right there, bro. That's awesome, man. You just yeah. did it, my man. Yeah. Wow! Yeah! Congratulations, That's what brother. I'm talking about. Wow! That's awesome, dude. Whew. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. Did it, buddy. I never thought I could reach a million subscribers and this right here is like, <laughs> I didn't think I'd get really emotional, but it's crazy, man. Thank you guys so much for a million subscribers. I can't wait to put this up in my room, man. This is, uh, this is so special. I think it's a great role model. Crying already? <laughs> Jake's family was first a little hesitant when they told them that he could make a living off YouTube. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. On the bright side, what do you want me to do? Yeah, this music here it's became so, my only life. It's so fast. Think I'm going Jake, crazy. Jake, Jake is about to happen. Jake, Jake is about to happen. Welcome to my life, oh. welcome to my life. Yeah! yeah. Like, are you gonna have like two golden plaques or there's no reward after a million? That's kinda crazy. <laughs> Life, what I wrote, I don't drive, I just coast. Don't get high, I just float. I, I be chilling with my homies, breaking bread, it's time we eat. Yeah, 51 in NFL studios with the beats. On the hook, I be catchy on the 16s, I'm a freak. I be texting with Destiny, about time that we meet. She ain't bad it for you, I bet she's bad it for me, for real. Yeah. On the bright side. Yeah, this music here became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind Yeah, welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah On the bright side Yeah, this music here became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind Yeah, welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah Welcome to my life. Welcome to my. Just three million subscribers, that's man. Crazy, like bro. what? That's just insane. I remember right here on this river walk, I unboxed the little, you know, the one mil plaque. Yeah. Right here. 
Not too long ago. Not either. too long ago. We yeah. found some uh, oh. Casey Neistat glasses, man. These are Check river these out. glasses. Casey edition. Neistat river edition. River edition. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm it has a slime on the edges, just like how he has it with the white. That's pretty dope, That's bro. disgusting, dude. <laughs> so we just get out of the water, and this lady's like, man, that's like something out of a movie. What's the name of the movie? Hot, Hot guys in wet suits. <laughs> Hot guys in wet suits. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, it's the old ladies that said that. Oh, oh. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jake called me up and uh, said that the water wasn't going to rise till about 7, so I had to quit my job today so I could stay out here all day. <laughs> He's not kidding. He actually quit his job today. <laughs> Alright guys, today I'm out here with Jigging with Jeremiah. Keep swimming, Jeremiah swimming. <laughs> Jeremiah. Keep swimming. Where did Jeremiah come from? I got oh one. shit, I touched something. I didn't like that. <laughs> Jeremiah, nah, not no more swimmer. Me and my parents watched the, the last video that you made, and uh, she was like, hey, looks like uh, Jeremiah has a thong. <laughs> <laughs> His what seems ripping. My name ain't even Jeremiah. It's, it's got a cramp. <laughs> you good, Justin? Ah! <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 uh, buddy? Best belly flop contest. What? what? The best belly flop contest. All right, All right you go first. Wait, you gonna do it? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna do it. Tristan doesn't know it, but it's only a competition of one, just him. So you're a bad whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tristan, go for it. Oh! Oh! oh. That was a stupid idea. I want to see our friend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta so kick him out of the group. You see all this uh, Tristan, mud? <laughs> you should ask for your job back, man. We're what? kicking you out. <laughs> I need a new job. Somebody lost their shoe, man. I always <laughs> find stuff like this and then think about the aftermath. Like some dude walked around like with just one shoe after the river. Look at this. Look at this. Are you ready? Yeah. Ugh. Just oh, that's nasty. River. Oh, you know what? Jake, this kind of looks like your shoe, man. Maybe, maybe you should try this on. You want to try this on? You think that's me? I think it's you, dude. I think it's your size and everything. This might have been yours from like last year or something. Yeah, I think it's yours, dude. Really? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, Go ahead. Put it, oh. put it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, does it fit? Oh, nice, man. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Brandon. You look so good, dude. Oh, something's in there. No, uh <laughs> Cinderella River edition. <laughs> <laughs> your your Riverella. I was over there at Cup 8 and I just saw it like this. I was like, what is that? And I needed another breath. And I went down really? and I grabbed it. It's a Bruh. pink iPhone. Look at this. Bruh. Thing. Really? <laughs> but when I first started free diving today, my mindset was just really to go out there and start cleaning up the river a little bit. So I went ahead and started collecting cans, and then I realized like there's so many cans out here. I found a rope, started putting cans on the rope. And this is what I got out of it. Look at all these things. A lot of beer cans in here. But it's just terrible that people drink and just throw their cans in the river. And, you know, most people think, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But it only takes a second to bring this up to the trash can. And uh, I really just wanted to focus on cleaning up the river today. And I got super lucky with the iPhone. But always really good to get the trash out of the river. You know what they call that? What? It's good karma, dude. I was down by the bridge and I found a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would this be in the river? There was no car over there. So you can slowly put together you a truck. Today I have something super special to share with you guys. And I had the privilege to actually buy my very first vehicle. But not only that, I was actually able to buy my dream truck. This is your dream truck. Like this is your first vehicle, oh, yeah. dude. What? That is awesome. Ooh, you've got one life to live. really sure it's like a vertebrae it's, i don't know i have no idea what this is not a lot of people come down to, to this part of the river and i'm just thinking like alligators if there is one spot that there could be alligators it would be here for sure Dude, there's like 50 bass right here oh my god there's like 50 alligators over here 
Oh gosh. This is crazy, dude. This is absolutely, it's so sketchy. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. <laughs> we just saw a giant snake over here and here Jake is just swimming in the water. <laughs> Such a bad idea. So like if the ladder breaks, we're going straight to, I don't know. So not only did Jake bring us out to the sketchiest boat I've ever seen, but now he wants me to jump first. All right, jumping off. Are you going? Nope, here I go. He said nope and then. <laughs> See you later, dude! <laughs> Woo! Did you tell I was in the air for so long, dude. Do something cool. <laughs> Money! <laughs> Woo! It's a lot higher than you think. That was crazy. So who's gonna jump in so that I'm not down there by myself? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, God. That's too scary. Don't do oh that. my God. I'm getting away from you. See ya! Ah! I'm out here just swimming in gator water hey, waiting for you. Him. Come on. I'm about to dive over Brandon. I'm about to freak him out. All right, go for it. You're not a good whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. He's about WWE you. Oh my God. Oh, oh. oh snap. That's only two foot of water. I'm not even a foot deep right here. <laughs> when I jumped in the water last time, I hit my nuts. <laughs> it didn't feel good. You want to know my favorite part? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's two nuts. Nice nuts, bro. Those creative catfishermen out there, man. I feel like this would be way more expensive than just like regular weight though. <laughs> regular lead weight. <laughs> so that's, that's my favorite find. That's of the an day. interesting one. Because I was just like, oh wow, look at that. I actually found a full cast net just in the river. And unfortunately it does already have a dead fish in there. Along with that, I also found a bunch of fishing lines. So whenever we run into stuff like this, we try to get as much of it as we can and throw it away. I guess this is just an abandoned raft. It's been here for like over an hour or so. I think uh, me and Jake are just going to hop on the raft and ride it back. It was meant to be. Like, the river gods are really looking out for us at this point. <laughs> I got us a boat, man. <laughs> the real deal. Come with me, Brandon. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of model is this? Like, what's this? Yeah, button? no, this is the, um... <laughs> the Baby Bass Boat 3000. <laughs> it's, a, it's a newer model. It's actually a prototype, so oh, they sent it to me. They heard I was uh, an awesome YouTuber. They sent it to me. Baby Bass Boat, go check them out, babybassboat.com. <laughs> but we don't have a use for it anymore, so we're just gonna give it to some kids. You guys want this boat? We don't have any use for it. Is it cool if we give this boat to them? You sure? I'm sure. 100% now. 100%. You guys you got go. a brand new boat. Congratulations, your boat owners. That's a pretty wow. awesome thing to accomplish. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I can't believe we got it. It's so heavy, dude. This is crazy. It's not a boat motor, man. It's pretty sick. It took a long time to get it out of the water, dude. <laughs> it took a total of, what, like 45 minutes probably? Honestly, this thing is so heavy that I don't think we're going to be able to swim it across the river. We're just going to have to leave it here for now. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I, I'm taking it home. This is in working condition, dude. I think it's going to... I think we can... I think we can make it work, man. <laughs> if you change out the wires, we should be good. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> All we need is a boat, some gas, and duct tape. We're good, bro. <laughs> this is another one of those things. Like, imagine when this guy lost it. <laughs> he hit one rock, and it ripped it off his boat. I guarantee it. He hit one rock. What do you think he did after? The whole motor falls in the water. <laughs> he has nothing to, like, move him up the river. He's just floating. He's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> But Damn. I'm pretty sure boy. this goes in here. There it is. Shoot, I think she'll start up now. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little rusty, but she'll work, man. Oh, what? you know what? There's your problem. You had a soda can in your motor, brother. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> it's good as gold now. <laughs> well, I don't think we should let it go to waste. Matter of fact, I think, you know what? If we hit 50,000 likes on this video, I think Jake will buy a boat and then we'll put this motor on it. We'll get it running and it'll be our little river treasure boat. It'll be great, man. <laughs> it'll be great. <laughs> it'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll, we'll ride our little river treasure boat out here. <laughs> <laughs> and search for treasure. It'll be a good. It'll be a good thing. Man. A couple weeks ago, we actually found a boat motor river treasure hunting. <laughs> we did. And today, we found the boat. We so. we are gonna put the pieces together. <laughs> I'm proud to say, me and Jake are the brand new owners of an 1847 Charger boat. <laughs> hey, hey, there's another boater. Hey, come help. Help our boat. <laughs> oh, he waved. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, the, we can wave oh, at other yeah, boaters. Yeah. <laughs> boaters wave to other boaters. We're good, we got it, dude. Nailed it. With any river treasure boat, you need your scuba gear, and you just suck onto this thing, and then breathe yeah. underwater. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a regulator, it hooks up to the boat, man. It's the life of luxury here out in river treasure boat world. You found anything good, Tristan? Uh, the murder weapon that I'm gonna kill Jake with. Oh, oh Jesus. I mean, wait. <laughs> Look at his dog right here. <laughs> this is my buddy right here, and he's just towing his dog around in the back of his kayak. Say hello, wave, wave to the world. <laughs> I don't Say think hey. the world is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Darn close. So I've got on this secondary tank right here, and basically, if anything happens to Jake, he starts tugging on the rope, or we kind of see or sense there's an issue. I'm gonna be going in after Jake. Hopefully that's not the case, but this seriously is a really dangerous situation. So we are kind of taking all precautionary measures. And uh, if anything happens, we need to go be able to save our boy. All right, Jake. <laughs> it looks like he's just looking in the mud, dude. All right, man. Good luck, bro. Good luck, dude. <laughs> be safe, bro. Wow. Oh yeah, my gosh. gosh. It, just, gosh. it just got real, dude. He's gone. He's really gone. Oh my gosh. Whoa. There's bubbles in there. I don't like that, dude. Oh my gosh, the rope's just going. Hold on. We, we'll probably be able to see his light over here. I can feel the ro the bubbles on my feet. Yeah. The rope is just moving. This is so weird. Oh my gosh. Like, you know dude. when you're fishing? There's bubbles coming up through here. There's bubbles going through. Dude, he's going too far. He's too brave. Why didn't he search around here first? I don't know. He's way over there now. Is he good? Is he stuck? I can't tell if he's good or not. This is freaking me out. This is freaking me out too. You good? Where'd he go? I think it was a thumbs up, but it could have been a thumbs down. Oh gosh. Really, T? I mean, he's not jerking the rope. He's not, he's not tugging. Yeah, and the air's still coming up, so. Dude, I'm sketched out. Okay. You need to cut the rope. Yeah, I got all tangled under there. Oh. oh I saw your hand dude. reach up, and I was like, I don't know if this is good or bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna check Jesus. anyways. Hey. It just got so real, dude. When you went under, your bubbles were all through everywhere. You. When you go back, it hits a wall. Yeah. And I was going left and like there's just pipes everywhere. Yeah, and I think the rope got it wrapped around one Like maybe I went back the wrong way. So that's why I cut the rope it says right here zip line 420 and I'm not too sure what that says right there And I thought at first this could be like a time capsule of some sort I thought maybe they put stuff in here and they put cement on top, but honestly, I'm not too sure I think it's just a lot of cement inside this thing. Maybe it's like an anchor point I think we should try to break it open. Like what if it was a time capsule and we just threw it away? Hey, don't bust your teeth out what? <laughs> out of all the options, busted my teeth out. Did it open up? No? <laughs> it's a lot of hard work and uh, it's just cement. Just cement. So you're not even going to believe what happened. I'm taking some lures and putting them on the rocks over here. And I see a lady standing on the island over there. She falls in. So there's people trying to help her out. I'm a little bit far away, but if she goes in the water, I'll be able to dive in and help her out, right? So I run over there. They get her out of the water by the time I get over there. But then I ask her if she's okay, and she says she lost her phone. And so I'm like, all right, I put all my gear on, dive down. I actually found some glasses. So I hold these up, I'm like, hey, are these yours? She was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I lost those. So I gave her back her glasses, dove down again, found her phone, and then gave her her phone right back there on the spot. It was like an iPhone 7, man. What type of phone is it?
weeks ago, we found this crazy like bone. We weren't sure what it was, but we think it was a backbone to something. Maybe human, probably just the animal, <laughs> but I found another one. Look at that. Oh gosh. What do you think this is? Jason? I don't know, but it's, I'm touching it without gloves and this is really nasty. So I'm going to start off with the weirdest find today. Crack pipe. Literally, I think <laughs> this is part of a crack pipe, dude. I'm pretty sure. What do you think? Oh, I think it is. I think it's, it's a broken crack pipe. I really think it's an actual crack pipe. What's one of your weirdest finds? My weirdest find is this issue. What the? <laughs> How'd somebody <laughs> lose that out there? there we oh, go. that's. There we go. There's no way that's fitting. Come on, you got it. You got to make it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That's the. <laughs> dude, let me see how bad your foot is. Like, dude, hurry. hurry up. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. All right, this is the strangest lure I've ever found, like in the river at all, ever. So I thought it was just a normal swim bait, but it's a zombie swim bait. Now, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to turn this around. This bait is sewed to this bait, dude. How creepy is that? <laughs> that is so weird. I've never seen anything like I that. I thought before. it was just fishing line when I first found it. I thought it just had fishing line on it, but it's, it's straight up sewed. Like the end of this, this is the original swim bait. The tail ends there, and then they sewed on this other swim bait. What? Why would you? I, first of all, who's over on the shore just sewing up baits <laughs> together? Like, some things just blow my mind, dude. He's like, I'm gonna combine my two favorite lures into one, and it should slay. <laughs> the only person I can imagine is like, a grandma is right. like, I'll fix that bait, honey. Like, bring it here. And <laughs> there is absolutely zero way someone will ever understand what we just did to get to this point like we climbed vertical 50 foot like 50 foot up like slabs of rock how high are we guys oh like from from where we started probably like hundreds 2000 2000 feet he said hundreds 1500 <laughs> my god oh my god climbing climbing up stuff like this with rock behind it and that's it and there was no way we could bring out big cameras which is really disappointing because we would love to show you guys what the heck we just went through, but there was just no way. Both hands, both feet occupied at all. There were so many opportunities, we could have died. I, I swear to you, it was a legitimate fear in my mind. I know it's easy to get lost in yesterday. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Subs right there, bro. That's awesome, man. You just did it, my man. It's terrific. I'm so proud of you. Jake's about to beat his all-time personal best right here. 1045. Oh, 10 oh, yeah. oh, 10 oh my god! We did it! Yeah, buddy! Oh man! People oh, fish man. their lives for a double-digit bass, dude, and you just nailed it, man. Holy cow.
Last time we were out here, Tristan actually found two nuts tied together, so he had a pair of nuts. I, 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 uh, I just got one nut, so <laughs> I just found one nut today. Brandon finds cologne and cool fishing lures. I find giant <laughs> boxers. So we're walking through these bushes here, and I was wearing flip-flops, and I lost my flip-flop. <laughs> When the water's cold, I'd be like... <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I got a bag, got a bag full of GoPros, go. GoPro. <laughs> the last cool find was these glasses right here. They're pretty legit. Those sure. are you. I got mine, man. Do I look sexy? Ah, you never did before, though. Oh, God, I guess. <laughs> this would actually be some nice glasses if they didn't have the little teal What line. are you talking about? I like the teal line. I think uh, it accentuates my I features. I forgot. <laughs> so these were all river treasure hunting videos by the YouTube channel D Almighty. That is so cool. He just goes on treasure hunts. I love him. Who for months now has been going very viral with all things he finds while diving in rivers. Yeah, very odd. Why do you think this series works? Something new every time and then like when you find something new, everybody immediately is going to think like a story is going to go through their head being like, I wonder how that got there. I wonder how this got there. Almost everyone at least knows someone that's lost something. Thing, like when they go on a boat, it's kind of like never ending because just think about how many rivers there are to go to. And as he gets bigger and he has like more resources, he can be like, Oh, guys, I'm in uh, Uganda today and we're gonna be, you know, searching this river for what we can find. I've enjoyed myself so much here on YouTube. You guys have left so many nice comments and the ratings have just been insane. And you know, it's like I'm doing things I never thought I'd ever be able to do here on YouTube. And this year has been the greatest year of my entire life. And it's all thanks to you guys. Without the ongoing support on every single one of my videos, I wouldn't have been able to travel or buy the things I have bought and do the things I have done. So I really do appreciate everything. You guys, like, you've changed my life. And I really do appreciate that. Water rising. Proceed immediately to shore. All right, guys, the water's rising, which means all the islands behind me are about to get flooded. Brandon, get out of the river. Do I have to proceed immediately to shore? Hurry! Hurry! Sounds on. like water's rising. All right, guys, the water's rising. We got to get out immediately before this water just takes over here. Water rising. Do you hear it? Head you immediately to shore. Wow. I actually don't hear it. You don't hear it? What? I got you. Water <laughs> rising. 